Hey, it's Tyson Clark 11 with more of my LEGO Pokemon collection. Here is the Alola starters, the Decidueye, Incineroar, and Primarina lines. As usual, the final forms have gotten tutorials already, so if you want to find how to build them, then you can just search how to make LEGO Pokemon and then the name of the Pokemon you're looking for. I usually say to just search that in general, but I forgot that I think there is an option to just go onto a search bar when you're on someone's channel and look for their videos specifically, so you should do that. It would be much easier than just searching in the YouTube search bar. That is, assuming that the feature is still there, I'm pretty sure it is. So, Rowlet. Rowlet is my favorite of the Alola starters. Originally it was Litten, but a combination of all the Rowlet memes with how cute its face is, and the existence of Incineroar made Rowlet my favorite. Dartrix. A little bit of paper crafting on this to make the leaf hair thingy. Decidui, decidui. Kind of hard to say it sometimes. Also paper crafted on this to make the hood. The wings are movable so you can raise this one up and add on another one of these that I have. I made both wings but just like the pose of this better. Or you could take this off and then close this wing down. They have completely closed wings. I forget if the tutorial on Decidui was before I put the hood on. I think it might have been, but the design is pretty much exactly the same. Just with, I think, one piece removed from the original design I had, and then the hood added on over it instead. Litten. When it was first revealed, I loved Litten, but then Incineroar ruined it. Torcat is okay, I guess. I don't like any of the middle starters for Lola. I don't especially like any of the final forms either, but out of all of them, Decidueye is the most interesting, at least. Lola probably has... Yeah, Lola has the least interesting starters of any region. The Galar starters aren't very good either, but Lola definitely worse. Incineroar. They really can't go without making fire starters by Peel. I mean, they usually start as quadrupeds. The only one that even comes close is Typhlosion, since it goes on all fours. For for running and for some attacks. But 
though you mostly only see it on all fours and spin-offs. You might be wondering why I did Alola starters first instead of going to Johto next. But that's because I need to completely overhaul the Johto starters, or at least for Alligator and Typhlosion. Meganium, I think Meganium's okay. But I really want to redo Typhlosion before I do full showcase on it, even though it's always sitting there in updates anyway. And the Alola starters are just some of the most recent that I've made, so that's why I was showing these first. Trying to split it up between doing Kanto and other things, so it's just not all Kanto recaps. All, all showcases of Kanto Pokemon that I've made before already. So Poplio. This is a slightly edited toothpiece. Cut off just the tip of it to make it more rounded. Brione or Brione, I think it was Brione. Also slightly edited toothpiece. I think I use toothpieces more with edited versions of them where I cut off certain lengths than I do using actual just regular toothpieces as they come. They really need to make a piece that's like the toothpiece, but more rounded at the end. Or at least just shorter. And finally, Primarina. This one is not using an edged toothpiece. But there is a rod piece that was cut in half from here. Really wish Lego would make more variations of existing pieces. That way I'd have less work having to edit things. Though I guess it's really not that much work to just cut something with scissors. And tail is movable. Just try to keep everything in their signature pose though. So that's all the Alola starters. Again, if you want to see how to build any of these, then you can search for the tutorials. There's no reason to redo tutorials with the higher quality camera now because you can see the pieces, how to build them well enough anyway from the original videos on those. So that's why I'm just doing showcases to show them in higher resolution now so you can see the finished version better, but there's no real need to do tutorials in high resolution. So, see you next time! And of course, if you want any specific LEGO Pokemon made, then see commission info linked in the description, or any characters from anime or other games, whatever. So, see you next time! Again.